This is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. This is going to be an unbiased, unsponsored review. I want to make that clear that I paid for this chair out of my own pocket. There is no affiliate link in the description below. And this is just my honest opinion on this chair. I really, really wanted to like this chair. I watched many videos where people were talking about how awesome this chair was. I was really hoping that I could spend 350 bucks on a chair and be really happy with it. I'm making this video for anyone who might be interested in purchasing this chair. There's a lot of hype behind this chair. There are a lot of sponsored videos behind this chair. There are a lot of people who are making affiliate commission and referring people to this chair. I'm fine with that. I'm totally cool with that. I think that that's a great way for content creators to make money and for just people in general to make a little extra cash. I have nothing against that. That's not what this video is about. What this video is about is the hype behind this chair and the fact that there are so many sponsored videos that it skews the real reviews. It skews an honest opinion on this chair. And the truth is that I was greatly disappointed by this chair. I have another video where I compare it to the Secret Lab Titan. I'll link that above. And in that video, I pretty much roast this chair. I'm not trying to roast the chair now. I'm not trying to talk poorly about it and make fun of it. I just want to give a real review. The first thing I got to say that I noticed about the Autonomous Ergo 2 chair was the cushion. The cushion is awful. It feels like cheap foam. If I were to cut this seat open and I were to cut a cheap Walmart $50 chair open, I guarantee you that it's probably the same exact type of foam in there. After sitting in this chair for 15 or 20 minutes, you'll feel the hard plastic or cardboard or whatever is underneath it. The armrests are very uncomfortable. They're pretty hard plastic for the most part, although they have a little bit of give, but they're cheap. They, they, they wiggle a lot and they just don't feel, they just don't feel that great. Um, the headrest, it, it's, it's all right. It's, it's not too bad. The lumbar support, um, you know, they, they really made this chair look good for the most part. It, it looks pretty cool. I was disappointed. I mentioned in, in my video where I compared it to the Secret Labs that the plastic looked damaged right out of the box on the back. I am just very, very disappointed with this chair. I'm actually making this video right now before I break it apart and package it up and take a picture of it to hopefully get my money back for it from Autonomous. They say that they offer a 30-day trial. They might take 30% of what the chair cost if I don't return it in the original packaging. I'm hoping that they accept it, broken down and put back in the box. I kept everything that came with it because I just was unsure because there's so many chairs out there and there's so many videos and there's so many people recommending different chairs that it's really hard to find a good chair. And I was really, really hoping that I didn't have to break the bank and buy an expensive chair. And I really thought that this chair was gonna be the answer to that. I'm just, I'm just bummed out. I really, really wanted to like this chair. I ended up keeping the Secret Labs Titan II. I like that chair so far. I'm still a little bit on the fence about it. It's, it's way more comfortable than this chair, hands down. If, if you wanna know more about that, just watch the video that I made on that. But this Autonomous Ergo 2 is just, um, it's not worth it. Honestly, I really, I don't know what other chair to recommend for you. But if you were like I was, and you were shopping around online, and you were looking at all the reviews, and you were watching all the videos where people just hype this chair up, and talk so highly about this chair. Just take everything you see on the internet with a grain of salt, dig deep and do a lot of research before you pull the trigger on it, and buy at your own risk. Buyer beware, I should say, right? Because it looks fancy, you know, the mesh back looks pretty cool. Like it's a, it's a, it's a neat looking chair. It looks like it's gonna be comfortable and it's not the most uncomfortable chair in the world. It's, it's better than what you would get out of like a $50 chair. But I don't think it's worth $350 or close to 400 bucks, depending on if you get it on a sale or not and after you pay for, for taxes and all that. It's, it's pretty close to 400 bucks. You're gonna spend at least 350 on this chair. 
And honestly, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Uh, again, this is a real buyer's opinion. I spent my own money on this. I am possibly going to lose money by returning this chair. I even thought about giving it to someone as a Christmas present, but I'm hoping that they'll give me a full refund because I sat in it for less than a week. I honestly just did not like it and I kept every piece of packaging. And if I have any trouble with it, maybe I'll make a video on that. But right now, I'm not trying to badmouth the company. You know, as a company, I don't know much about them. But I was really, really excited for this chair. And I'm just bummed that I'm so disappointed by it. The fact that Autonomous sells other office furniture and they have different chairs and they have stools and they have standing desks and they have face masks for COVID and all that stuff. Um, I, I, I really was just expecting more out of this chair. And that's all I wanted to say in this video. I'm hoping that if you're out there and you're looking at all the reviews and you come across this video, just know that this is a real review. I am six foot one. I weigh close to 200 pounds. I am in my 30s. I work at my desk all day. I'm a software developer. I do YouTube, which involves me sitting for a long time. I try to sit and stand as much as possible. I have a standing desk. I stand up at least once an hour. I try to stand up for, for a good amount of time. And even with all that said, I found this chair uncomfortable. I found that sitting in it for longer than 30 minutes hurt my tailbone. It hurt. It had, it had no support on, on the bottom portion of it and it wasn't as comfortable as everyone made it out to be. Overall, it's an okay chair. It's not worth the money. At most, I would pay $150 to $200 for this chair. If this chair was priced at 200 bucks, I would say go for it. It's an okay chair for $200. It's similar to an Ikea chair. It's similar to a lot of those chairs that you're gonna find in that price range on Amazon. I've owned a lot of chairs that were in that price range and I wanted to step it up this time because I figured if I spent a little bit more money that I would get a better chair out of the deal. And the truth is that this Ergo 2 chair is no better than any of those $150 to $200 chairs that you see on Amazon. It's no better than the Ikea chair that's like 220 bucks. I sat in that one when I went to Ikea and I almost purchased that one, but I thought that if I spent a little bit more that I would get a better chair out of the deal. And honestly, I was, I, I was wrong. At least I was for this chair. And the Titan is a better chair than this chair, but it's also a more expensive chair. But this Ergo 2, I just don't think it's worth the money. I don't think, I don't think the value is there. I don't think the quality is there for its price range. With all that said, if this video was helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if you own this chair, if you're thinking about getting this chair, if you have any questions. I'm happy to try to answer any questions that you might have about the Autonomous Ergo 2. And that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say in this video. I hope it helps somebody out there who's on the fence about buying this chair. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.